Take two. <laughs> April 22nd, 2021. Comments about veterans, especially combat veterans. Less than 10% of the veterans actually see combat. Think about that. 90%? Well, I call them support people who are important. But think this. The Americans have their values all fucked up. Think this. A combat breaker goes to war and actually has to kill to protect your little ass. You know, keep you from communism, this, that, or whatever evil out there in the world. But yet, they are treated at the VA hospital just like non-combat veterans. Is that fair? Well, I raised hell about that and they said, well, we're all veterans. Bullshit. But I hold my combat veterans in a high esteem, a lot more than veterans. And then there's some veterans. What can I say about them? Not much. But think this. The combat veteran gets swapped. They're screwed. You know, they put their life down on the line for you and my freedom. You're in my freedom. And what are they at? This America treats them like dirt. Yesterday's garbage. Throw them out of the system. Who cares? Who cares about the veterans anyway, especially combat veterans? Do you realize that a person could be here in America, an American citizen, and they get better care than a combat veteran? These people have never worked in their lifetime, never did anything, they never contributed to this country at all, and they get the same care as this combat veterans? Think about it, baby. Is it fair? Well, only if you're a non-combat veteran, you know, sitting in your ass, maybe draw on unemployment or disability because you're a fat slob. You don't want to work because you're lazy. Bullshit. You know, America needs to change its values. Put what's for, uh, you know, number one first. And I call that put this combat veteran first and veterans. <clears throat> but that's just my opinion, baby. That's right. Think about it. Again, why should a civilian who never worked their entire life, never donated to this country whatsoever, get better care than a combat veteran? Nah, it's just not right. At least not in my world, being a bilateral veteran. Yes. I see my share of combat. You think it's pretty? Hmm. Think about this. How many of you people have actually killed another human being? Think about that. Do you think about it? Well, you know what I mean? It's a disgrace to the American flag. These scumbags, leech bags, cowards, People have no need to be in America at all get the health care that they get and the American combat veterans get the care they want. Just my thing. This country needs to put American veterans first, American combat veterans first. But it ain't going to happen. You know why? It is America. Small percentage of uh, Americans actually go and fight for their freedom and earn their right to be Americans. If you don't like it, stick it, baby. NW6G, a proud Vietnam combat bilateral veteran who did serve his country and proud of it, baby. So there you go. Just my personal views this morning. Yeah, there are veterans out there who cannot even get into the care the system because it's overcrowded by non-combat veterans. <laughs> hey, why cannot a veteran go to any hospital in this country, lay down their veteran's card, and get care free? No questions asked. Well, you know, there's some people in this country that say, well, no, I can't do that because, you know, your veteran might abuse the system. Just like with my legs, I got a card for, uh, since day one, says I go to any prosthetic shop in the country and get care. Work on my, no, it ain't happening. No, change the rules, baby. 
Now I gotta get pre-authorization, which can take 10 to 7 day working days so they can work on my legs. All set for one place. Artificial limb specialist in Phoenix. I walk in, hey Chuck, how you doing? What you need? And they take care of me and I'm out of there. You know, they treat veterans the way they should be treated. So enjoy your day. Enjoy your freedom. Enjoy everything you can do and everything you've got because of American veterans made it possible. If you don't think so, then uh, I'm sorry, baby. You're just not seeing it. See you all later. Thanks for watching. I got to get busy.